Hello, welcome to Tech Qualities. Today we're going to perform a screen replacement on a Latitude 7420 Dell laptop. Please like and subscribe to this video. Join us daily. We are adding videos frequently. We're going to get started by removing the bottom cover, loosen all your screws. Use your favorite spudger tool, plastic pry tool, to remove the bottom cover. Be careful not to pry too hard, it might crack. These clips are sometimes slow to release, so be patient with the removal process. Once you get the bottom cover off, you're gonna remove your battery connector from the motherboard. We're gonna remove the two screws up the top display bracket. This holds your display connector in place. Now there's four different connectors coming from this uh, display. One is for camera, one is for the actual LCD display. I think one is a backlight and the other one, I'm not sure, maybe a sensor of some sort. But when you're removing these connectors, I like to use a small screwdriver. Grab the edge of the plastic connector to pull it out. I, uh, I don't like pulling on the cable itself. You might damage the cable connectors or disconnect them or dislodge them from the connector itself. So yeah, use your pry tool to kind of get those out of there safely. There's a couple of different methods I like to use to remove displays. Uh, this particular display comes with the entire hinge assembly. And this method, uh, due to the location of the camera, I decided to do the, the more difficult, in my opinion, removing the screws from the hinges while the laptop is laying on the table. And then you're going to use a pry tool to um, carefully bend the, the hinges up. And these particular hinges are really stiff. So I prefer the other method, which is where I open the laptop up at about a 90 degree, the display open, and then I turn the laptop around and hang the display off the edge of a table. That way the hinges are already in an open position when I remove the screws and it just lifts right off the laptop. But in this case, we're working with the stiff hinges. I'm going to carefully try not to pry against anything sensitive, no circuitry or anything. I'm prying against the palm rest itself. And I do the same thing on the left side. Once those are up and out of the way, you can anchor the palm rest up and out away from the display. The old display out, we're going to bring the new display in. Remove all of the protective wrapping off of it. And we're going to make sure those hinges are also in an open position, as you can see they are in this case. And then I do the same thing, just in reverse. Anchor that palm rest right down under those hinges. And I'm going to manually fold those hinges down back over the holes on the palm rest. Once those are in place, I'm going to replace the screws for the hinges. Two screws on each one. A lot of times you're going to notice there's more than just two holes or however many holes there were screws in. And yeah, you look at the uh, arrow indicators on the hinge, there's usually an arrow pointing to the holes that you're going to drive those screws back into. The other open hole is for your bottom cover, so you don't want to cover that one up. I'm going to firmly tighten those screws as uh, there is a lot of torque when you're opening and closing your display. So make sure you get them snug, fairly snug. Alright, we're going to move back into reconnecting our four connectors here for the display. These can be kind of tricky, especially when they're getting in the way of you. I start from the right and work my way to the left. And uh, always notice on your connectors here, there's usually a dot on one side indicating that that side goes up. I take note that that's, this is the orientation that one goes in. Struggled a little bit. These things want to be aligned just perfectly to go back into the connector. So I brought in my uh, little tweezer tool to help hold it with my left hand while I'm using my pry tool or my little screwdriver with the right hand to try and edge it in there. Just be patient with this process. Once you get used to these connectors, you go a lot faster over time.
Now we're gonna move on to the display cable. This one plugs straight down on to the port that's on the motherboard there. Just gotta line it up right and firmly press down on it. Seems I had a bit of a struggle with this one too. Once you get that in, you get your last connector in. Dot facing up. So glad they decided to do that. Sometimes you can't remember which way was up when you removed it. Then you bring in your little bracket, and your brace, and two screws to anchor down over your display connector. And now we reconnect our battery to the motherboard. And there's one last little piece of adhesive on the new display cable here. You're going to remove that adhesive cover and reapply that to the top of the heat sink. And that about wraps this one up. You're going to reapply your bottom cover, retighten your screws. Do not over tighten them, they only need to be snug. Thanks for watching us today. So glad to have you uh, join us here on Tech Qualities. Please like and subscribe. Uh, we're adding new videos daily and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.